Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to disassemble the uh, PS5 controller and reassemble it with uh, new features such as some new pieces. Here we go, we have this piece here. I don't know what exact part it's called, but it goes on here. So that's going to go on there. Then we have some pieces in here. Uh, from extreme rate so we got All our buttons here Select d-pad triangle square circle, etc We got our red rings to go around and lock sticks We got uh, thumbsticks uh, More rings the black ones then we got oh that's probably nothing and then the device uh, pieces tools to use to uh, take off certain other small pieces and the screwdriver So as I'm doing this, I'm going to be taking little breaks because I'm going to be watching a video to see how I'm supposed to uh, disassemble it and put it back together. Alright, so here's the first part off. A little bit tricky because you think it might break it but not really of course with that piece you replace it with this one and uh, I'm not gonna do that yet because uh, we got to get inside and replace all the buttons and the rings now I'm not sure how you take out the rings you might have to it's cool to see what the inside looks like though the camera focuses there you go Okay, so it says next we can start removing the screws in here. There's two in here and two at the bottom. There we go. So we got the four screws. Gotta make sure we don't ruin the thread on these. And I think the screw is uh, magnetic, so that's good. But we don't want to lose these. Oh, so just gotta keep putting more effort from the bottom. Keep going. There's some more stuff here. There we go. And we have two parts now.
There we go. Okay. Damn, the holes are small to where they go in. So there's the battery pack. Put that over here. Whew. Glad I didn't clip any wire. We got, I know exactly what they are, but there's like a processor, um, for sure process unit, which controls everything, how everything powered and works. Then the other ones have their own kind of area of what other parts of the controller work. And lock sticks are out. And we just kind of fold this a little bit over. So apparently now we can move, remove the main frame out. So we put this, put these boys back in here, and take this whole piece out. Look at that. I'm gonna put it over here. Okay, so now we have just this part. So this. I can go on from here. So this is just a touchpad. It looks like it's held in by screws, a plate around, and here are the rings, the buttons for the triggers. There's underneath these are the buttons, and here's the sensors for the inputs.
There we go. And it stops. But there's this piece here. You see it moves back and forth. So when you move it up, it rolls down. See? Apparently all these parts are replaceable, so that's nice. Okay, so there's this whole piece. <laughs> I got it. Shit. Okay. So there's these prongs that go kind of like this. And in these metal things, there's a between it and the middle on the bridge. If I can explain, when you pull that down, it pulls it down so that there's enough room like this. And then you bring it under the tabs, both sides. You bring it around and the other side around, like left, down, up, right, down, up. And Jesus Christ, and that's what makes it stay there. So I'm really happy I got those pieces. Now I'm gonna push it down a little bit so that it doesn't pop up. Oh, probably not too tight. There we go. Sorry about that. So we screwed these two back in. There we go.
No, they're, they're the same color. A bit brighter. Don't like that, but that's okay. Maybe it'll look better in the end. But so far, it's looking nice so far. Part of the learning experience, isn't it? Now, where is this supposed to connect to again? Shit, I forgot. Doesn't feel right, I don't know why. Is that what I have to do? Just click it in? Is that what he did? Yeah, so you're supposed to click, so the frame you put it on here. Once it matches the base there, matches down here, you just kind of like click it downwards. And it goes like, like that, I guess. I'm pretty sure. Let's hope I didn't break anything.
I think this is the one with the oh it's the last screws I've been waiting to put this on for a long time. This part is silky smooth. Like it's, it's even softer than this one. Like this one, you could feel like plastic. This one, you could feel like a different sort of material, like super soft, almost like fur, silk, silk smooth. It's crazy. I can't, it's hard to describe it, but it's super smooth. Yep, holy crap, that's complete. Look at this, holy crap, this looks so good. It's a little disappointing, doesn't have a, ooh, it's a little rough texture, I like that. I like that. A little rough texture here, I like that. Silky smooth here, I really like that. Um, glad I didn't do the touchpad white, uh, red, because I like the flow of the white over here with the red here i like the rims here or the little circles that i put in here you can see when the light hits it it's a little bit more let me do it here you could see oh, come on you could see it's a bit more shinier just around the edges than the rest of it and that's completely fine with me. All right, here we go. So, I like it. I like it. Um, you know, it's white and red. Well, white, grayish red. It looks good. You know. But could it be better? All right, here's the black and red ones. Oh, my God. <sighs> yep, I think what we're now going with had a feeling <laughs> the black and red ones look so much more better now because now you could see from this angle the only thing black is really this and the controller stick underneath and those two things match for sure right together and of course it being darker it already has that kind of accent to it so and, well, this looks darker too this a little bit darker and now gray but yeah this looks definitely much better how are the grips they're actually really good the only color to be different than the white red and black on this will be this button here which will be the logo um i don't think i would mind if it was silver to be honest but i think having that retro color is just gonna make it look nice not crazy nice but pretty nice Maybe a bit more nice. Who knows how it really looks at the end. I just don't want the colors, the, the original colors, black, green, blue, whatever, to really throw off everything in here. Because uh, I'd rather have it silver, black, or white. White, oh, it would be crazy good. White and red, that would be good. But of course, I'd really want to change this because see how you could see it? But other times, you just don't see it. You just see it, it looks like a blob. But anyways, that's that. I'm going to stop talking. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll uh, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.